In this video you will learn the difference between type and the interface inside TypeScript. And actually when people are starting learning TypeScript, this is a huge question. What you should use, type or interface, because they are extremely similar. Let's have a look. If you want to represent some data inside TypeScript, people are typically using interfaces and they are writing like interface, user, and inside we have some fields like maybe id is number, then we have a name which is a string, and we have email which is also a string. Lots of tutorials on TypeScript are leveraging interfaces and they are saying ok, when you have entities you must use interface word and create them like this. Then you can define here a user which is of type user. And inside we are providing id, which is 1, then name is foo, and email is foo gmail.com. So what interface does, it defines a contract that our object must fulfill. This is exactly it, we have here a user object, and we are saying that the interface here is user, and we must fulfill this interface. This is why when we are removing here a name, we are getting an error, property name is missing in our object, but is required in user. But now let's try instead of interface to create type. What we can do here on the top, instead of interface word, we can write type word. And the only difference is that we must write an equal sign here. So essentially type then the name equals and some data. Here we have our object and here we are saying that our user is of type user. And again, if I am removing here name, we are getting validation, property name is missing inside our object but is required in type user. So what is the difference? Essentially in this use case it doesn't really matter if you are using type or interface. But the main difference is that with type you are defining your shape of data. Which actually means you can define here not only user, but you can also define a string for example. Let's say that we have here an id and it is a string. This is also a type. You can't do such thing with the interface, you will get an error. Interface is only related to entities like objects. So this is how they are working, now we must talk about extension and intersection. What does it mean? For example here on the top we had our interface user and I will comment out our type because we will have name collision. What we can define here is our new interface with the name admin and here we are using extend word to extend it from the user. And essentially it does exactly the same like with the class you are extending everything that you have inside. So we are getting all these fields inside our admin and we can add here new fields. For example here we can write that we have a property permissions and this is an array of strings. If we are using here not user but an admin, we will get an error that property permissions is missing. This is why here we must write permissions, this is an array of strings, for example here it may be dev. This was extending, but what is intersection? When we comment out this code and we are using here type, I'm sorry for interruption, but I just wanted to let you know that only 20% of the people who watch my videos are subscribed to the channel. If you really want to continue getting videos and support my channel, consider subscribing, it helps a lot. We can define a new type by using intersection. We can say here that we have a type admin, and here we are using our user, and one more object here with permissions, which is an array of strings. Essentially this code is the same like this code. Here we are leveraging extends and here we are using end which works exactly like this. Now inside admin we have everything from the user and additionally this object with permissions strings. This is why here as you can see we don't have any errors because our admin now is user and our permissions. And it works in exactly the same way like extend. But here is the main difference that you have between types and interfaces. If here inside our user we are defining get permission, where we are getting id as a string and we are returning a string, we can add function overloading here inside admin and we can write here get permission which is a function and let's say that here we are getting an array of strings and we want to return back our array of strings. As you can see we don't have any error and now our admin type has get permission and as you can see we have both, we have inside our user get permission definition with string string and here we have string array string array. Now here what we can do for the usage we can write here that we want to define get permission and here we are getting an id which is either string or string array and now here inside we want to check what we got. We can return here type of id 
if it is string, then we're returning here id as a string, in other case we're returning it as an array. But here we must write as string array and string. As you can see with the type we don't have any errors and we can define a function inside our basic type and the same function inside our extended type. And here we can write this logic. But what will happen if we try to use interfaces with that? I want to uncomment interface and just define here get permission function where I want to return a string. I didn't even provide anything here. Now at the moment when I'm defining get permission here and I'm saying that I want to return a string array, I'm getting an error. Interface admin incorrectly extends interface user. The types returned by get permission are incompatible between these types, which actually means you can't really define a function and return a string and define the same function and return a string array. It won't work. So it is not possible to override this interface. You will always get an error inside the interface, but not inside the type. This is the main difference. The next use case where we can use both interface and type is by using class. We can create here a class, for example, student, and write here implements user. And this is exactly what you see so often inside Angular. Now here we're getting an error that class student incorrectly implements user and we must create here id, name, email and permission. Which actually means we can define here id, then our name, email, for example foo at gmail.com and get permission function, which must just return a string. Maybe here will be a string def. And obviously our id must be a number. As you can see now we don't have any errors and we created here a class based on the interface. The question is can we do exactly the same but with type. This is why here I am pasting our type which is exactly the same with id, name, email and get permission. And here we are writing class student implements user and this is a type not the interface and it is still working just like previously. Which actually means you don't have any difference in this case and you can use either interface or type. So let's talk about our results. What should you use, interface or type? In 90% of the cases you can use them interchangeable. If you just need to create some entity you can use either interface or type, doesn't matter really what, whatever you prefer. I really like to use interfaces for all object type values. But if you need to define something other than the object, you don't really have a choice, you must use a type here. If you are defining a string, you must use a type. If you are using helpers like pick or meet for example, you also get a type as a result, which actually means in all these cases you will have type. And to overload your functions like we did here with our type, you can also just use types and not interfaces. With interfaces you will simply get an error. This is why from my perspective realistically we don't really need interfaces inside TypeScript because 99% of all stuff is implemented with types. But as we still have them, it doesn't really make a lot of difference. This is why you can use whatever you prefer. And actually, if you're interested to learn TypeScript on the good level, I have here on YouTube a full advanced video about that.